In addition to satellite telemetry, we're also focusing a fair bit now on movements of animals and their behaviors here on the foraging ground. And to do that, we're using this little device here. This is a suction cup tag that carries a VHF transmitter and a TDR, which is a time depth recorder. The suction cup tags that we've been developing are particularly useful for you on, on leatherbacks because leatherbacks not having a hard shell do, do not allow you to glue something to them. So the suction cup allows us to put it on, on the turtle for a short duration and get information about movements and diving um, on a turtle that normally wouldn't be um, tagged in the same way. We've also outfitted the plane with these radio antennas. When a suction cup tag is placed on the back of a turtle, we are able to determine where the turtle is coming up. We've uh, returned this afternoon and found the animal with the tag still on and uh, we're getting ready to re recover the tag and download some of the dive data. It'll be 8 o'clock, uh, about 400 meters, 300 meters. One of the interesting things that we've gotten from this, the time depth recorder on the suction cups is the idea that the animals swim down to depth, maybe 15 to 25 meters depth, and then slowly work their way up to the surface. And in doing so, they silhouette the jellyfish against the, the lighter surface water. And then they eat the bottom part of the jellyfish as they work their way up, um, consume the, the tentacles and the gonads of the, of the jellyfish and then go to the next uh, jellyfish that's at, at near the surface and they just slowly work their way, eating their way to the surface. This really is the only species of its kind. Uh, all the other species in this genus went extinct during the last ice age. This one's a survivor and it's facing challenges. Ultimately, we want to unravel the mysteries of, of this uh, endangered species uh, before it's too late. But still, the big questions are in the marine environment. What are the life history stages out there? Where are the juveniles? How long does it take to mature? What are the habitats they're, they're using? And uh, what's important to them? And uh, we're really using these tools to uh, follow them and have them tell us the answers. Where is it that we need to protect to ensure the survival of the species?